Hey, you know who's not in here? Right. Where the f goes? Not there. No. 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 Where are the four fourteenies? Hello everyone, my name is Ted T. DeGrate, and in today's video we're going to show you our husky drawers and how we organize our microphones, the accessories. Hopefully you find this entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Do you want me to do the shtick? What? Well, why do we do this, Kay? What is your reasoning behind these things? Reason number one. We used to have these in work boxes. Re reason number one, wheels. If I just get the bug that I want to reorganize the shop, I can just move these the f out of the way. Number two, I don't know, like they just made sense to me. Look, it's exactly what it says. Does it come into that stink bug? Told me on 93s, did a play once, had to buy 16 of them for that job. I don't think they went anywhere ever since. This is everyone, everybody wants a Countryman E6. Where the rest of them? <gasps> <laughs> Barcodes. This is like my answer to the Countryman E6. You know, why should I stock up on E6s, which are expensive and break and go to shit? This little connector goes bad constantly. Like, hell no. Well, you forget one thing. Before you go further, I want to brag about how many channels of this we have. How many channels do we have? We have 16 PSM 1000s. Where the hell are the accents? We got some extra packs. I think I have 20 packs. Why are these in here like this? What happened to the to the things I had? Yeah, what, what, why are they not on them? Damn, how many do we have? Jeez, Who puts man. the shit away here, man? Like, the thing is, is like when we get a job and I need the packs, I'll just pull out the whole thing and put it into another drawer. Mensa. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, for Bruni. The better capsules. That's a KSM 9, right? You know how many times I end up with a thing like this because I needed it one time? Because somebody just had to have it. Give me what I want. They're f***ing, their vocal, this wouldn't sound right without it. Give them this. That's not what I want. Had to be this. It's Give me what I want. Had to be. So what, do you, so what do you think I'm going to do? Do you think I'm going to spend the money on a truck driver to drive to some f***ing place so that they could bill me a random uh, $100 <laughs> just to rent this? I spend more money on the guy that has to drive there, pick it up, bring it back, and then guess what? Drive there, drop it off, drive back. That guy's got to get paid. I mean, maybe it might not be cheaper, but for another hundred dollars, I can own the thing. So, yeah, these are great. Take these are great, but man, do you got to keep up with them? I can only imagine how many of these are out there with my little sticker on there that someone's like this. That's cool. It's my seventy-five dollars. I think. Right? Yeah, seventy-five bucks. Just random accessories. But this we need is a better spot for those right. stupid little clips. You can't get rid of these. Huh? You can't get rid of these because you got to take these out of the packs to put the, the those in. But I don't know. Sometimes this just doesn't make sense, and you just want to send a little pack of batteries, and you got to put these little clips back in. Wow. Otherwise, they pop out. Pro tip: What else do we got? Generic shitty buds. No, no, these are the good ones. <laughs> more DNA in here than in a police crime lab. <laughs> Ew. I have these. These are Random. cheapos. Yeah, these, these are the ones that oh, when someone says we gotta provide there. the buds, I assume these aren't gonna come back, so I send them to the <laughs> uh, Wait, where's all our paddles? They're all missing. They're all like in those cases over there, see? The one thing that always is being used is wireless, that's for sure. Now, there's a joke there, I'm gonna avoid it. There's a joke in this straw, there's many of jokes, but I'll avoid it, go ahead. How are you gonna make a joke out of an antenna? <laughs> <laughs> is yours that skinny? What are you getting at? Like, what's the joke? Terrible. I gotta be honest here. Somebody will tell me that I'm doing this wrong. See how they're color coded for frequency bands? Yeah. I never pay attention. <gasps> you know, I just and, pay they work, and they work. And they work. What's that thing? Ah, uh, the RF. You wanna know the truth? And 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 this has saved me. Pro tip. Another pro tip. We'll we'll use that one right there. If you're ever in a bind and you're on a gig, and God forbid somebody forgot to pack the antennas, this is a trick that absolutely works. Oh, uh -uh, this is a huge tip. From the king. And I have done it. I have done it. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. No! Yep, works. It'll, it'll get you through today, man. Thumbs down alert. It'll get you through today. Just grab a paper clip, stick it in there, and you're going. Not even kidding. Sure, I'll tell you that too. That's how I even know. Before you do it, then you gotta get a tuna melt. And you know, one day there's gonna be a broken speaker, and you're gonna be like, all right, I need a tuna melt, and I need a broken speaker. And I'm gonna use 
the two losing atoms. <laughs> yeah. How impressive is this? Look at this, folks. This is what. Oh, oh, look at that. The mm -hmm. Axians. You grabbed one of the random ones that doesn't have the pack. 14, I think we have, yeah, we have 14, 16 channels total, but 14 wow. packs like this, and then there's two that don't have packs. Look at these. These are incredible. Nothing beats the Axians. Ah, here we are. This is the mic box. I'm surprised I haven't done this because something that'll bother me after a while is not having the blue rubber band on them. And I'll eventually call and order the rubber band just because I can't stand looking at them like that. Is our mic collection weak, you think? Or no? I don't think so. I, yeah. I got the standards, mm -hmm. you know? I got the workhorses. I'm sorry, I don't have an M80. I don't have an M80 for your, your kick drum. That's unacceptable. Enthusiast. Unacceptable. I don't got no Ohio mics, you know? <laughs> Got, I got what we need, 58, baby. Put 57 on at the we end. Pick these a la carte. Oh, these are good. There they are. Random pencil condensers for jobs that don't matter. You think I'm going to send this? You think I'm going to have an army of these going out to jobs? No. I'm going to send these. That goes when it matters. That was like a mic version of me, but anyway. Uh... <laughs> Again, another one. One time, one guy. Bet Midler had to have it for his guitar. Just had to have it. Nothing else would do. Hunted it down on eBay, bought it, gave it to him. Here it sits. Is it a good mic? Probably. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> See, this shouldn't be in here. This is a measurement mic that I was looking for the other day. Steve. What? Why this cable? Can't tell you how many times it bit me in the ass that the phase is reversed on this mic. You get told it at a class or whatever, and you remember it. This is the nerd shit. That you you roll your eyes at, but put this mic on. I start measuring. I'm not thinking about it. Next thing you know, I go, "Why is it out of phase?" I'm looking at the screen and I start going, "What the? F Why is it out of phase?" Oh yeah, that's right. The stupid f***ing microphone is out of phase. So I put this little cable on there and I reverse the phase myself so that I never forget that because this will up. Mental. I also try not to use these mics, but I have them, so they're here. Okay, don't gloss over my favorites. They're right next to me. Uh. Oh, the lazy man's guitar mic. They are the lazy man's guitar mic. I mean... You know how many people are against I, that? I like... Yeah, <laughs> but I don't care. I like to just drape them over the yeah. end. Sounds fine. Well, I drape it over the, the cabinet on like some big... No, artist. of course no, I'll not. i put it on a stand if I'm even using that. Ah, so, oh, the switches are missing. Switches. One's at my house. Again, these are more like candy. These are... You'd be shocked. Things. People what would be... these, man? One's at my house. You'd be shocked. People actually always ask for switches. It becomes a thing. It's like annoying. Talk back on in-ears. Strategically uh. placed on stage uh. so they can communicate uh. with just each other. And if they don't like the switch mic, then what do they gotta have? They gotta have this shit, right? Then you gotta do things like these, these mic mutes. Again, I don't buy it until I need it. I'm not gonna go and buy hot shots just because one day somebody might call me. I wait till I get the job that the money makes sense and the money's right. And then there it sits. And then when it pops up again that I need it, it's like, oh good, well, I already got it. What else? ISOs, EWI ones. This thing comes in handy. Oh, remember your quick thing about the screws? Yeah. <laughs> He's bent. Yeah. Random DIs. These are the best. Uh, again, what were these? Corporate job. We had a corporate job. Where money was no issue. The, the, the company hired an audio consultant, and the audio consultant always has friends in the business that labels gear that they only know a handful of people are going to have. The audio consultant was not okay with having an iPod cable into the laptop and ISOs on standby in case they were noisy. Oh, come on. We had to have these. The end. So I bought them. Yep. There they sit. Why did I get this? I think... I think we did a, a Zumba class or something at a college where... There's a story behind everything you get. There is, because like you buy it, use it one time, and then you go, <laughs> maybe I'll use it again. The Zumba teacher had to have her phone that she sat there and trying to teach the class hardwired in. And I was like, you know what? I can get this thing. And then she can just grab the phone and not have the cable up there with her. And then we, we end up using that around here more than anybody else. And now we're getting in the stereo DIs. Simply put, except... How's this in here? We got a decent DR card. Dude, man, people just don't read the drawers, dude. <laughs> what the f so annoying. This ain't stick, folks. And then here's the mono DIs. The Dinkin' Dunkers. The Dinkin' Dunkers. It's, it's just a DI. 
We got a decent DI collection. It's got to be at least 30. Dude. Uh, yeah, this is just the biggest drawer to take the helicals. Who's he? Again, the Brittany mics, as everyone calls them. Just the headset mic. Once in a blue moon, you got to have that. LP claws. But as you can see, these Husky drawers work wonders, man. I mean, if you have a shop where you have room for these. We used to try know? to keep mic boxes yeah. put together. And it right? becomes too chaotic. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then what happens is things get pulled out, put into a different box, and you don't know which one it got put in. You take a box filled with microphones and DIs, and then you get there and you go, where the hell's all the stuff? Where'd it go? If you're doing not... the same bands over and over again, the same type of bar type gigs, you can put together the A rig, the B rig, the C rig thing. You know, but uh, there they are. Guitar Center Clearance bought it just because it was like, well, they're on clearance, I'll take them. And why don't I like them? Because when this thing breaks, you're screwed. I don't have the click to go with it either to bail to bail out. You know that's cool, but when it breaks, you. How oh, cute! Oh, there's a little stress factor. That's right, because if Bruni's packing, he takes the good stuff. Yep. Six oh four is my favorite. Oh yeah, my favorite drum mics. Incredible. Here we go. Bass drum mic. That's it. Stick it in. This there. is where Kay's weak. This is your weak point. Put the egg in the basket. Kay. <laughs> this is where Kay's weak. The bass oh, drum. Weak. You don't got the big boy. What's the big boy? The M80? It's not the big boy. I got the typicals. Mm -hmm. But you can't go wrong with these. Yeah, throw the egg in the biscuit. Yeah, here you go. You know what's in here. Oh, oh. Got grease, does it? <laughs> there it is. Kick in, kick out. Then I got those again for... I personally like to mic bass amps with those. My personal favorite thing. I prefer to mic a bass guitar amp rather than use it direct. Dude, I've had these forever. Forever. I mean, even before... I think I bought these to record our band with one of them and then used it one time and oh, yeah, I remember it. because I had one I hunted down a second one on eBay just to have a matching yeah. pair and then this is these these are good these are the better the better sure condensers I don't know these are good KSM the KSM oh, 137s yeah. these are good awesome. hey you know who's not in here what? where the fuck knows Bernie. does he have them I don't know who has them New mystery, where are the uh, 414s? They gotta be somewhere, dude. Not there. No. 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 Where the hell is he? Did McMuffin take mics? Seriously. I don't know. Where are the 414s? Where are they? Arno or Baines? Like, did somebody come and take them? Did, did a mic pack get put together that never got uh, broken down? We got a mystery to solve here, folks. I gotta tell you, I I hate those 414s, man. I hate them because they constantly get f***ing ganked from out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a common thing. And then I got to text everybody I know. Be like, do you have it? Oh, yeah, man. Sorry. I borrowed them to record my friend's band. Yeah, it's always that. It's always that. <laughs> Done, Kay. One last but not least. One of the most annoying things in the history of our sport. The press malt that no one uses. What is up with the- What are you talking about no one uses it? How many times have we gone to a gig where we say, say bring the press malt and they just use room mics? How many times has that happened? Yeah, or what uh, happens is one lonely cable gets plugged into it. No one uses that punk of tin. Like, they I hate it. Him. When it's needed, it's needed. Our one kryptonite for sure though. Right here, okay? You can't deny it. No. That's our kryptonite. We don't have the fancy pants ones. Uh, uh, that's our kryptonite right there. What? You know how many times we send shit to a gig and just nobody thinks to grab the windscreen? <laughs> <laughs> they go to Guitar Center every time. Right. What are podium mics? We don't have the fancy pants ones. What, what are the fancy about? ones? We got podium mics threaded. The base plate. We got the kinds that just stick in. Oh, here we go. Your favorite. There he is. <laughs> uh, no, I was saying we don't have the DPAs, dude. We don't have the fancy DPA up. Uh, do you guys have a light for a podium? Oh, the more the, the more you open drawers, the more everything has a joke. Oh wait, is this another asshole detector? Is that an asshole oh, detector? Joke. <laughs> is that a joke? <laughs> oh, oh, no, there he is. Never to be seen again. We'll put that on your bed. He'll be up there buying. Here you go. Choir mics. They finally got used. This is the audience mics at the Stress Factory. Oh wait a minute. Who borrowed one of these from me? Tony. Is he gonna bring it back? <laughs> They're not, they're not here. Yeah, that's why. That's literally what I'm looking for. Oh, shit, they're right here. Yeah, bring them back. Mystery solved. All right, very good. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, just the 414s, more than anything. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, OK. 
Okay. I, I just want to point out, Thomas just randomly called me. Oh, wow. And I didn't even think, and I was just like, hey, you don't have to have them. He has them. So, wow. anyway. 